Hey guys, I thought I would come on here real quick and show you guys who's ever following along or who's ever wanting to know how to do this. Hey guys. I'm not, not going to be on here very long. Um, but Wednesday we started our paper mache dolls we were doing. Well, this was the one that we made to lay down and it's going to be a girl cause she's got, you know, um, uh, breastuses. <laughs> anyway, when I did it, I showed you how to put the wires on and, and do the arms and the legs and stuff. And that's what I did. And then I paper mache it. it. Um, and this is the one we did before. So I paper mache it. It was all tape. And so I'm going to show you how to do the next step. The next step is um, joint compound. Okay. So what I did is I just put a little out in a cup. This is pink. And it's supposed to turn white when it's dry. So so what I did is I just took my finger. And you can sand this when you're all done. Because you're going to have like creases and little bumps and stuff on your paper mache from it's just what the paper is going to do. And this will take those bumps and stuff out. And then when it's dry which I won't mess with it again till tomorrow. You can sand it off a little. Now this is this um, is a low dust, a lightweight low dust joint compound. So that's what I'm using. And all, all I do is I just take my finger. If you were doing a really big one, a big unit, you could, uh, you would uh, use a spatula, like a, a silicone spatula. So that's what I would do. And then this, since I glued my head on, which is just a miniature gourd, that's what I, what I initially used. You can use a styrofoam ball. You can use wadded up. Um, newspaper and then put tape around it and make it a ball. You can use a, a balloon. But this just smooths out your paper mache. It's like your finishing coat before you start to paint or I think what I'm going to do is make um, make some shapes on the a nose and stuff with some clay on the head but this just smooths it out I got to show you this she turned out so cool when we started at Wednesday look at her she's gonna lay down like this you guys she got her. when I'm all done I will glue her hand to her head and her hand to her hip but she's going to lay down like, I don't know if I can, if you can see it, but she'll lay like that. So it'll be so cute when she's done. But what I thought, I had an idea. I don't know what you guys think. Um, is she can be laying on a blanket on the beach. And he can be sitting on a cooler with a beer or a bottle in his hand like he's drinking. And then she'll have a bottle or a cup down by her on her blanket. But I just thought that would be so cool <laughs> as a scenery. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. But I just wanted to come on here and who's ever following along or wants to know is this is how I finish off. This is my last coat. Uh, 
before I paint it. Bye, Natalie. How are you doing? I just thought I'd come on here real quick and show everybody how to finish off the, the paper mache people. Did you see the girl? I finally, I got her done. That we started, were you here Wednesday? Yeah, this is the finishing coat I use on paper mache. Of course, I haven't done it in years. But it just smooths it out, gives it a smooth finish. And then when it's dry, you can come in and sand it down a little where the bumps and stuff are. Where it's rough. So, yeah, you just give it a, a smooth coat. Here's the girl. I got her done. She's going to be laying down like this. I don't know if you can see. When she lays down, she'll be like that up on her. Have her hand on her head. It should be laying down like that. Oh, cool. You've never been with me, huh? Cool. I come on Wednesdays. I come on with Kim on Mondays. She's on at 11. Southpaw. I come on with her on Mondays, and then she comes on with me on Wednesdays. Yeah, just give it a smooth enough, a smooth as you can coat. And this is uh, drywall joint compound. This is pink. It's pink in the can, and then when it dries, it turns white. So, because if you look, you see you got like little edges and stuff on your where your arms and stuff are well this will smooth that all out you won't be able to see them when it's done you won't be able to see the lines where the paper has been wrapped and it's lightweight and it's low dust and just do the best you can when you're doing it now when i like I said, when I, when these dry, probably tomorrow, I will bring in some clay probably some air dry clay. I will prime the head first or gesso the head, yeah. Gesso the head and then bring in my clay and put some features on the face so it doesn't just look flat like it's just a painted face like put a nose and maybe some brows like a forehead something hi sherry hi vanessa we are uh doing paper mache i started it wednesday on my live and I just wanted to come in and show the people that were doing it with us that put out a short video of the fin the next layer after you do the paper. This is um, joint compound, just smooths it out. So when you get ready to paint, you could even, if you wanted to, you could add material as clothes because she's going to be, she's going to lay, be laying down. She's been covered in uh, joint compound already. But she's laying down with her head, head prompt up and her arm on her hip and her legs crossed there. But she'll be laying down and he's sitting so he sits on, he sits like this. So, and this is what I'm using. It's low dust, lightweight joint compound. And you just put in a, put on a 
smooth layer, as smooth as you can get it. And then once it's dry, I will sand it off a little. I'll come in and smooth it out with some sandpaper, but it's low dust, so. Yeah, I just wanted to come in and show everybody because I didn't want to come on here next Wednesday and say, oh yeah, I got it all done. And you guys missed what I was doing or the people that wanted to follow along. Um, I did get my houses done. I posted, I posted on several groups and on my Instagram, my house thing. I don't know if anybody's seen it yet. I'll show it to you here in a sec. Here it is. This was a dollar little box from the dollar store. It had a sign on the front, on the front of it. It said, Happy Thanksgiving, and you're supposed to hang it on your wall or something like that. And I just bought it to use it as a vignette box. So I did that. I made clay houses and used flower soft, made some trees, and then put some rice paper on the outside. Yeah, it lights up. I added lights to the back, um, like stars in the sky. It's supposed to be like a night scene. Yeah, these are miniatures, so. Yeah, I even made the little trees out of wire and flower soft. And then it's got little flower bushes in there. and Yeah, it was fun. So, there's that. I finished it. Finally. It took me forever. Of course, it was in between everything. So, don't yeah, that that box was a, a dollar box at Dollar Tree last fall, and it said "Happy Fall, y'all" or something. And I bought it to use it as a vignette box to turn it around and not even use the "Happy Fall, y'all." What is Flower Soft? It is stuff that they made years ago. I don't even know if they still make it. You have to go online and look. Hold on a minute. I'll show you what it is. Hold on. Let me get one for you. They're right over here. Hold on just a second. It comes in all different colors. And this is how it how it comes. It's called Flower Soft. And it's like it's like really spongy colored stuff, but it's real it's real fine. It's like I don't know how to explain it. It comes out like that and you just glue it down. And it looks like the grass and the flowers. So that's what's on the that's what's on the ground and on the trees. It's called flower soft. And that's two different shades of green. And then they have a summer mix, a spring mix, and a, they have mixes. Yeah, I don't even know if they still make it. It's been so long ago that I got it. They used to make a flocking too that they sold. I didn't ever got any of that. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys, show them how to do this. Because I just can't do, I do everything on my channel. I, jump around, do different stuff because 
I get too bored. I get bored too easily. Doing the same old crap all the time. So, like I said, I come on with Kim Southpaw on Mondays at 11. And then she comes on with me on Wednesdays at 2. We're live twice a week. And I didn't want to come because I was working on them. I didn't want to come back on Wednesday and then say, hey, I'm done. Or I got this far and they didn't know what I did. So they can come back and watch this. And as soon as I get this covered, I am getting off of here. Which I got another leg. And I might come on tomorrow for a little bit to show how I do the clay on the face. To give it some definition, give it a nose and um, a brow so you can paint the eyes. So, yeah. You might hear about that stupid thing they got now going around. I was looking at it on the news. Not the news, so much the news it was online. Stupid monkey pox now. I'm like, what? Somebody's got it here in Pennsylvania in the U.S.? Not here in my town. I don't live in Pennsylvania. And they got it in Canada. They bought it from Canada. I'm like, oh, great. Something else. Anyway, that's depressing. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm just, you sure don't need much of this stuff, you guys. And I'm doing a hot air balloon too, but that was on my own time. I got it down here drying. Um, it's over a balloon, an actual balloon. And then I'll take pop the balloon when I get enough coats on. I'll show you show it to you when I'm done here. Yeah, if you see all this, see all them little twists and stuff in that that uh, paper. Well, when it's once you get this stuff on there, it kind of smooths that out, so you don't see all those. And then tomorrow I would just do go over it very lightly with some sandpaper just to smooth it out a little. But that takes care of all those little crinkles and stuff that's in your um, paper mache art. And these are just wire legs and wire arms. If you watched last Wednesdays, I showed how to do the girl that's laying down to do her wire legs and feet and arms. It's all one piece. Like this is all one piece, her arms, his arms and his legs are all one piece of wires. So that's that. That goes pretty fast. Yeah, she's she's got half beads on her as taped over on her breastuses as making breastuses because she's gonna, I think she's going to be in a bikini. I'm not sure how I'm going to do with her. So, yeah, that's her. She's really cool. I think she is. I'm just, they're just going to be whimsical little people. And then I added some more paper. When she's done, I will, when I get her all done, I'll glue her hand to her head and her hand to her hip, but I couldn't do it until I got the rest of the stuff done. So, yep, that's her. I added some more paper and tape to her thighs here because they just look kind of weird, just wire straight out. But she lays down. 
and then my balloon that I'm working on right now. I will give another coat as soon as I'm off here. So there's those two. This is going to be a hot air balloon. It's pretty big. And I will pop the balloon as soon as I get enough coats on here that I want. And then I will add a piece up here and then have the strings or the cords coming down in sections to hang the basket and decorate it up and stuff. So, yeah. Now there's the balloon. I'll pop the balloon and then cut a thing. Cut it around. Probably add a wire or something around there. Something stiff. Yeah, so that's that so far. I've always wanted to make a hot air balloon. Paper mache hot air balloon. So now I'm going to have one. So it's just sitting in front of the fan drying. Okay, so that's all I wanted to come on for. Thanks, guys. Can you please show the flower soft again? Sure. It's called flower soft. It says www.flower-soft.com. And I don't even see a maker. Um, yeah, that's all. This is Christmas green. It comes in all kinds of colors. So. Hey, you're welcome, Sherry. I'm glad you guys came. Thanks for coming by, stopping by. Appreciate it. If you get a chance, come in on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock. If you get the chance, I'm on every Wednesday live at 2. So we do all kinds of different stuff. Um, last week we made a bunch of, uh, I mean, last few weeks we were working on a couple challenges and stuff. So um, thanks, you guys, for stopping by. If you give me a thumbs up. Hey, KK, where you been? <laughs> I just came on to show them the next step in the paper mache was the what do they call it? Jeez. Joint compound. A layer joint compound. Because we paper mache these. Yeah, this is the girl she's going to lay down. And this is the guy he sits. And these are just pill bottles you guys this here this round part this is just wire and if you had styrofoam ball you could use a styrofoam ball i used a miniature gourd because i have miniature gourds and that one is going to lay down it's a girl and this one is going to sit so when these dry i will sand them off a little smooth them out um and then tomorrow, I will probably get out my clay and do the faces, do give the faces some uh, dimension. So that's all I came on for was to show how to do that. So like I said, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for coming. And if you're around on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock, check us out. Check me out. Kim's on with me. And Kim's on, Kim Southpaw's on Mondays at 11, live, and I'm with her. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks for uh, coming by. Bye.